Hello, today I will show you how to bake beautiful éclair. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boy. So for the pasty cream or the creme pâtissière, you start with cornstarch or maizena. And then you take a cup milk, so very cold milk. This one is, has ice cube around to show you that this first cup Milk cup is very cold, so you place the cold milk, the maizena, and you see the big advantage by using cold liquid is to combine very easy, well, in an easy way, the cornstarch and the milk. So this was the first step, and then you place this milk, this cold milk, with cornstarch aside. And then you take a bowl, a clear bowl, and then here I'm using four uh, egg yolks. And then you place the sugar. Just one uh, tablespoon in here. So you will see this recipe, this pasty cream or creme pâtissière is very easy. And the creme pâtissière or pasty cream is used in a lot of uh, French recipe. So the creme pâtissière is uh, the mother, mother sauce or the mother cream. So here I have my four egg yolks. You take a spatula and then the milk. The milk now is boiling. So at medium heat, and then you just have place of milk, warm milk in the egg yolk. To cook the egg yolk, and then you place it again here. Then you will cook it for about um, seven, seven minutes on medium heat. And then always stir or whisk gently to avoid to, to burn the bottom of your, of your pan. Now it's very, very liquid, you see. It's like a juice or, or a soup. A few moments later. See the bottom, you have to, to check if the bottom is clean, always. We have a, a perfect consistency, uh, the cream is still warm and then I will add the uh, cold butter. G give more uh, gloss and shine to the cream. You just have to cover it and to place it in the, in the, in the fridge. It's important to cover the cream to keep the nice uh, color and the nice uh, texture, the nice consistency. Otherwise, if you have uh, contact between air and cream, the cream will get uh, dark yellow and a little crispy. So it's not so 
nice to get this result for. You take a, a plastic and you need a contact between the plastic and the, and the cream and then you place it in the fridge. So we start the shoe pastry. So for the shoe pastry or pata shoe, you start with uh, water, quarter cup, quarter cup, or quarter cup, and then milk, also quarter cup, and flour. Then cold butter. And then important, you have to use a pinch of salt in order to help you shoe pastry or pata shoe to, to rise, so the salt is mandatory. So a pinch of salt, good pinch of salt. Just have to whisk everything, so at the moment the milk and the water is, is, are cold. And we will uh, cook slowly everything together on medium heat. So here I'm using a spatula. A few moments later. So here at the moment it's a little sticky. You see? And this sticks on the bottom. Later. Now you see it's a very important step. Now you are able to make a ball, a very nice ball. And the, 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 the dog is not sticky. Here the bottom is clean and then you have here a nice, nice ball. So bottom is clean, the ball is nice and this is step one. And then you continue to, to cook the, the dog until in order to, to dry out the, the dog. Now the dog is full with humidity, with milk and water. Therefore, we have to continue to, to cook it at low temperature. A few moments later. You see now it's not, the bottom is not clean anymore. It's dirty, it's a little sticky. So this is now the perfect condition to continue our recipe. And then you start at very low speed. See? Now you see it's still hot. We will just continue one minute in order to cool down the dog. I'm taking a fork. And I will add half of the quantity, so about 
but now the consistency is not good it's too uh, because it is too high we need something more fluid therefore i'm adding now 90 percent of the the eggs So, here it's better, but it's not perfect. So, see, it's because it is a little too high, therefore I'm adding now all the eggs. So it's better to pro proceed uh, stepwise. Stepwise means you add step by step your liquid your eggs if you add too much eggs then you will just destroy your uh, pata shoe or your pastry shoe shoe pastry <laughs> So the challenge of the recipe is to get the nice consistency and this is something with filling. So you have, if you add, as explained, if you add too much eggs, you will get a soup, you will get something too liquid. And the idea is to be able to create a shape with a piping bag. So this consistency is good, it's okay, you see. This is... It's not too liquid, it's like, it's, it's hard to explain the, the viscosity, but uh, so regarding the piping bag, so as explained, the, the, the dog, the Patashu dog has a high viscosity. So it's important to uh, use a heavy duty piping bag and not a uh, cheap uh, plastic uh, bag. Otherwise you will press, you will increase, increase the pressure and then you will just uh, get uh, patashu on the, on the ceiling, on the floor, on, the, on your kitchen. So therefore use a, a strong uh, pastry, pastry bag and then I'm taking this this vase or this, and then you place it here inside. And then, voilà. you see, this is uh, easier and stable. So, then you take your patashu. This is still a little warm, little. And then you can also switch on your uh, oven at 220 degrees uh, Celsius or 440 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So the pastry bag is ready and then I'm using a non-adhesive uh, plate. I'm not using any paper, baking paper or oven paper. This is prohibido. Uh, it's, as explained many times, using uh, baking paper, oven paper is not always a good idea because now if you have uh, so by using this paper here and then by placing here the patashu you will have a humidity between the, the paper and the patashu this is uh, the bad effect of this paper 
and then if you have humidity then you will not have a nice shape the, the, the eclair will not rise perfectly you will have sometimes good results sometimes bad results and therefore if you take directly a, a non adhesive plate the plate will be hot and then you will have no humidity between the hot plate the steel hot plate and the, and the eclair eclair uh, shells but of course i'm, I'm not your, your father so you can do what you want this is only my personal experience experience i already tried with this paper and i got a bad result but uh, it's your choice it's your dessert so it's up to you and then regarding the lens of the eclair so normally in france there is uh, official lens in order to, to get the name Eclair, otherwise if it's too long or too short, you will not get the name Eclair. But uh, I think it's just for you, so I let you decide the length of your Eclair. If, if you want to make it very professional, you can use some, some tool to, to have always the same uh, length. It's important to have a constant speed and a constant pressure. To have a constant uh, section. Or, uh, so you see, therefore, the viscosity is, it was very important to make it clear. And uh, you have to train, you know. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, so, normally with this quantity, you are able to make about 8 to 9 eclairs. And you see here, I made a Frankenstein. So, yeah. <laughs> you can take also your finger. So as explained, the oven now is very hot and then I will place the eclair in the oven and reduce the temperature to 180 degrees Celsius, means 300 degrees 60 Fahrenheit. Now at the, the bottom you make three perforations. So one in the middle, one on the left and one on the right. And then you will fill this volume. And then you will fill the volume with, with cream. It's full with cream and you just have to, to remove the excess. Yeah. 
So maybe uh, an important point by baking eclair is not always easy to get a perfect shape. So sometimes you will get a monster and it's not possible to use um, a piping bag. Or therefore you can uh, take a knife and just cut them in the middle. Like if you are making a sandwich. Tuck. And you see inside this is empty. You take this micro <laughs> sandwich, you take your cream and then you can simply put cream directly. It's also possible. It's more, this is more easy, you see. The taste is the same. And then you just have to put here the cover on the top again. And then you will also have a nice eclair. Mmm, very good. So therefore, I show you now an easy way to make a glass, a rare glass. So first, first you need uh, one egg white. Then half teaspoon lemon juice. And then you have your icing sugar. So the lemon juice, or juice, juice will uh, help to avoid any oxygen oxidation of the, of the egg white and to, to get a nice gloss. But for sure, you can replace the lemon juice through uh, water. And also, the nice point by using uh, egg white is the ability to adjust the viscosity of your uh, glass. So, we will see. So now, as you can see, we have a soup. This is very fluid. Very fluid. So now I will adjust the viscosity or increase the viscosity with uh, the wiping, wiping process. So slowly. <clears throat> A few moments later. You see now we have the, a nice consistency. It's not a soup. It's 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 a little liquid and not liquid. You see. So this is, in my point of view, this, this is uh, perfect consistency. And then you can make n a nice glass, you see, Gla glaze or glass, or topping. And as explained, you can increase the fluidity by adding a little lemon juice, juice, little quantity, some drops. And then you can increase the viscosity by uh, wiping or also adding a little icing sugar. So the other possibility is to here place it directly. And then take your finger. Uh, 
так, пять, не пять. Mmh. Look at this!